Blackboard supplies two similar communication tools that offer specific ways to correspond. The email feature in Blackboard provides the opportunity to send course-related correspondence to their instructor and classmates through the college email. The Course Messages tool sends messages within Blackboard. It is more secure and contained within Blackboard. Because these are similar, it is best to refer to them by their name in Blackboard to avoid confusion. Both the Send Email and the Course Messages can be found on the Course menu under Course Tools or in the Tools option for students. Let's take a look at both tools. To send an email, begin by clicking the Send Email link located in the Course menu. At the resulting screen, you have a variety of choices regarding which course members you would like to contact. In most cases, users opt to send an email to one or more single-slash-select users, and these instructions will be based on that preference. Click the Select Users link to continue. At the Single-slash-Select User screen, you will begin by identifying which users should receive your email. Select the intended recipient and use the arrow to move them to the recipient selected box. The members of the course will appear in a list under Available to Select heading. Type a subject for the email in the space provided, then type your message. Optionally, you may also click the Attach a File link if you need to send a file, such as a Word document or photo, with your email. Once you have reviewed your message and are ready to send it, click the Submit button. You will then be returned to the Send Email screen, where a message in the green area at the top of the screen will advise you that the email has been sent. Over to you, Pat. The Course Messages tool offers a secure way to send messages to students and an instructor within a course in Blackboard. The messages will get to the students and be located in Blackboard. This has excellent archival features. Once you have clicked on the Course Messages tool located in the Course Tools within the menu, you will see the Course Messages screen. There you will see an inbox and a sent option. The columns will show you the number of unread and total messages. This can be particularly useful as you can see if the message you sent was read by the student. Retrieving a message requires that you select the inbox. Click the inbox link. Click on the subject of any email in the inbox to read the message. Once you have read the message, you have the option of 1. Using the reply button to respond to the senders. 2. Using the forward button to forward the message to another user. 3. Using the delete button to remove the message from your inbox. 4. Clicking the print button to print the message. Or 5. Using the OK button to return to your inbox. Creating and sending a message is similar to the send email with the course messenger. You simply click the create message button. You should note that if you select reply or forward for another email, you will be presented with the same editor. The message editor screen will have similar tools for sending the message to the recipients as well as editing the message and attached files. Hit submit and the message is sent. You will then be returned to the Messages screen, where a message in the green area at the top of the screen will advise you that the message has been sent. Both forms of communication have these distinct advantages. Send email allows the students to get the information without logging into Blackboard, and the Course Messenger offers a secure and easy means for students to receive messages that are archived. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Pat. And there you have it. Which tool is best for you often relies on your task and how comfortable you are with it. Knowing their strengths helps you better help your students succeed. This concludes our report on the Send Email and Course Messages tools in Blackboard.